Welcome to episode 920, Harry Banga, Indian Commodity Billionaire in Hong Kong. This is an outline of episode 920. Good afternoon, friends. I'm pleased to learn that Manish Media are launching volume 2 of Jewels of Punjab. Once again, I'm sure they have done an amazing job. The staff at Manish Media take enormous pride in their work. They work very hard and conduct through due diligence whilst collating these amazing and inspirational stories. I wish them every success in the, this and future endeavors. Good luck and God bless. He was born in Amritsa, Punjab, India in 1950. This is the training ship Dufferin, India's oldest marine academy. He graduated in 1968 with first-class honor. Nowadays, it's called the Indian Maritime University. His first boss and mentor was Abbas Gokal, who was the flamboyant Pakistani billion-dollar commodity trader then. Gokal was involved with the BCCI bank fraud. He was sentenced to 14 years in prison in 1997 and spent six years in jail. His next business partner is Richard Elman, the Jewish guy who dropped out of high school at age 15. In 1986, Richard Elman founded the Noble Group with $100,000 in Hong Kong. He was betting on the Chinese commodity boom and he was correct. Richard Elman became a billionaire, but his company, Noble Group, collapsed dramatically in the mid-2015. Noble, it is, an, uh, is a company over in Asia. It was a gigantic commodities trading firm. When I say gigantic, you have to look at the market cap. So at one point, that market cap uh, was $18 billion, and now it is literally almost zero. The big part of that was this uh, gentleman, we didn't know who he was, uh, basically said that there was fraud, accounting uh, fraud. And we finally know who that person is. His name is Arnaud Wagner. He said, I am Arnaud Wagner. Bad companies have to die. And this so In 2013, Harry Banker probably saw the writings on the wall. He cashed out, made about $800 million, and invested in his own company, Caravel. Banger's magic was he basically hired the same senior management team from Noble Group, and he succeeded. Harry Banger became a billionaire, and in 2020, he is worth $1.5 billion. He's 70 years old. Now, giving back to the City University of Hong Kong in 2019, CDU is making great strides in integrating art and science to preserve heritage and drive innovation. The exhibition gallery is one of such examples. That is why Indra and I are proud to be associated with it. We have an artwork handcraft express. Now, the five secrets of his success. He is constantly trying to find new solutions and learn new uh, things that are happening in Asia or around the world. And I think those factors drive him to be the person that he is today. The single most important attribute that makes dad the person he is, is trust. It's trust as a f It's a celebration of life. And I think it brings to the fore everything that he worked hard for and he kept his principles, his integrity intact in getting there. It's all about proving to himself that he, what he can and can't do. And I think uh, he keeps setting himself higher goals, keeps meeting them and he sets himself even higher goals. It's a never ending sort of cycle. You can't help but um, learn from Harry when you work with him. He's uh, meticulous to the nth degree and really gets into the details and is very hands on. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Harry Banger 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.